General, first question for you. Please. The Can budget. You announce your My name is Angelo Coppola. I'm yeah. from China Global Television Network. Yes. The budget constraints that you're operating under, how serious are they and how long can you operate at the same level? Uh, I, I will be very frank and honest with you. As, as, as alluded by the Chief of Defense, we are experiencing a lot of challenges. It is public domain, it is public knowledge that the budget cuts are, are affecting us uh, severely. But in terms of sustaining what you have just witnessed today, it is, it is, it is more about the will to do it. We have adapted so well to our reality and accepted that we have challenges. But as a collective, and I must say thank you to the collective leadership of the South African Army, including members of the tribe, we have adopted the paradigm shift and a mindset that says, let us look beyond obstacles. We know that there are challenges, but we have a mandate to honor. We say what we have demonstrated here today, we can do better. We can do excellently better if that consideration and that political will that was referred to by the Chief of Defense, by our political masters, could consider and understand that the Defense Force is not just an asset for this nation, but it is also an insurance policy that if you invest well in it, the outsprings of it is highly commendable. Just a follow up if you don't mind, uh, General. Talk to us a bit about Cabo Delgado and what's happening with the Sarek Institute and the elements of the Sarek and the Kansas State. How are they doing? What challenges are they facing? Uh, uh, I would really uh, I beg you that I should not rather, rather dwell much into it and rather to say to you, yes, it is true, our members are there and they are doing a very commendable work with their presence there. The operating in that sphere, but let me leave it to the spokesperson of the Defense Force. I think he's well positioned to respond to that. Allow me and confine me to the pride of life. Guy Martin by your media house first. Yeah. Guy Martin from Defense Web. Um, we've seen the, the unrest in July, we've seen uh, counterinsurgency operations in Mozambique. The nature of warfare seems to be shifting. We've seen the uh, cyber attacks at Transnet. So what, what, uh, how is the army preparing for these new types of conflict? We, we have appreciated our threats very thoroughly. And it, it came out very clearly with a very sovereign concept that we have introduced within the conventional world to define this brigade as a modern brigade. It is because we understand the aset asymmetric nature and the current reality of terrorism, which is posing a serious threat not only to the world, but also to our own communities, the South Africans. What we are doing now, especially with the modern brigade, is to position ourselves with that reality that how best can we start dealing especially with insurgency, with terrorism as the biggest threat that is actually threatening humanity all over the world today. So I can tell you, this particular brigade, why it is called modern brigade, it is particularly to respond to that modern threat that we have identified, that we have well appreciated. But moreover, it is important that it should be understood. Not only do you have soft power within this brigade, but it was a demonstration of hard power. Linking ourselves to the mandate of the South African Army, well said by the Chief, that our mandate, which is linking, contributing to the bigger constitutional mandate of the South African National Defense Force. The Army is to prepare and provide landward combat-ready forces to the Chief of the South African National Defense Force for operational utilization by CG Ops. Now that mandate requires that, especially from preparing, that you train and regard training as a priority in honoring that mandate, but at the same time, coupled to training, 
is what we have witnessed today, which is part of our mandate. It is to conduct exercises because exercises are there to sharpen up your force. They are there to build up that confidence and agility. They are there to prepare yourselves to the reality that you might be confronted with as we appreciate the challenges that we are facing. So I can assure you that we are taking the threats quite seriously and we are not resting. Actually, we are just ensuring that for the coming 21st, we are actually at work for 24 7 as the South African Army, as part of the National Defense Force, adding to the constitutional mandate that we address and we see ourselves as relevant to that threat because we are a service that we regard ourselves to be viewed by our people as a guarantor of hope and peace. And is the new uniform a necessary uh, measure? Now, now I can assure you that the art is something that is very practical. What normally happens with an exercise like this, you have a projection. It is only now after we have rehomed that the arc that we are going to look into the statistical data in terms of the application of both the ammunition that was there, in terms of the bombs that were there. At this stage, I can tell you, it's a number of them just required for this particular exercise, but I will not be specific for that. When it comes to uniforms, the question is, is it necessary? Uniforms are an integral part of our identity. We are working around the clock to ensure that we address the state and the nature of our uniforms so that we are ready for the task tires that are coming for us. Thank you. And we have the next one. We had a chance, sir. Anyone? Yes, sir. Um, uh, Justin from Defence Web. Uh, the previous Chief of Army, um, Lord Donnell, uh, was quite uh, vocal about how disappointed he was with Donnell and the Badger Project. Do you, as the uh, new Chief of Army, have um, a bit more faith, uh, less faith? Any comments about the Badger? Of, 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 of the Army? I, I've said it when I started from the beginning, that the reality of the budget uh, uh, it's real. It, 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 is, it is affecting us and like I've said, we, we believe we could do better in honoring our mandate. But the way it is going right now, I think the demonstration is not only the capability demonstration, but it is a demonstration that appeals also to public confidence and our principle out there to say that this is what we have we can do much more better if you consider us as the last line of defense as an insurance of the people of this country as a guarantor of peace and security to our people definitely the issue of the budget is not going down there. can we have the last question please any yes sir um, there wasn't, uh, well, there was virtually no Air Force participation at, uh, at this year's exercise. Uh, was that because of budgetary constraints or is the Air Force um, overcapacitated? Are they busy in DRC and Mozambique and other places? I will go for the easiest response and I think you have said it quite well. You are fully aware that we are overstretched as, 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 as a force and, 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 and that might be some of the reasons. But for us, in terms of our requirements, we, we had to request for those resources that they are able to make available for this, under, for this exercise. Because they, we know that they are fully committed in, 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 in both theatres that are there, the, the East and the West, and I will leave it there for now. Will we ever see 22 companies uh, for border security? The, the 22 companies, again, it, it's a matter that is tabled to our principles. Remember, you, 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 your colleague asked me about our, 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 our analysis and appreciation of the threat. What we have done, we have tabled our recommendation that it is ideal to have those 22 companies. And we are still continuing to table that because the sovereign state and our responsibility as the South African Army, it is key that it is well understood as, as professionals in our own area. We appreciate and we table our recommendations and we leave it to our principles to, to decide on that.